pitcher for the Boston Red Sox leads the Red Sox onto the field in their City Connect uniforms tonight. Well, from what I'm looking from Tanner Hawk, as far as the sinker command, that has to play. Alex Cora talked about the importance of his cutter keeping the left-handed batters honest. There's Captain America, Mike Trout, captain for Team USA in the World Baseball Classic this year. Gets under this one, he pops it up. He's been doing that a little bit over the last week. He's over his last 12 now as Yu Chang, the shortstop, retires Trout. The ovation for Shohei Otani as he stands in with two outs. There's ball four, so Shohei Otani is the first base runner tonight. It's a two out walk. And it will give Anthony Rendon a chance here in the top of the first. Rendon with a liner toward right for a base hit. He gets Otani to second base. And there's the clean cut of Anthony Rendon going the other way. And he has the game's first base hit. So two on and the Angels making Tanner Houck work here in the first inning. This will be his 20th pitch already as former Red Sox outfielder Hunter Renfro stands in. Oh. Renfro sends one deep toward the monster and left. All the way back is Riff Snyder. That ball is off the top of the monster. It's going to score two runs. Otani and Rendon come home on a high, towering two run double from Hunter Renfro. Gives Patrick Sandoval a lead to work with in the bottom of the first. Love watching this talented lefty, especially during the WBC. It felt like he was very confident, and I think it's transitioned over to the MLB season, but he'll throw everything but the kitchen sink at you. There's ball four. And Sandoval walks the first batter that he faces. And this is an intriguing matchup because of the power of Devers and what a great hitter he is. But Sandoval's been excellent against left-handed batters. Devers shoots one toward the monster and left. Taylor Ward runs over and tracks it down. Right at the base of the monster in left field, Taylor Ward able to range far over toward the corner and handle Devers' line drive to end the bottom of the first. Ball one to Mike Trout. You know, for a guy like Trout, opportunity to be one of the greatest players on one of its grandest stages here at Fenway. Ball four to Mike Trout. So here now the man you just can't take your eyes off of. Shohei Otani, the face of baseball. Good pitch. Hawk strikes out Otani. You know, lefties have had a lot of success against Tanner Hawk, but he's worked on changing that with a refined splitter and a cutter that he introduced this year. But a good pitch there, and he's impressed Shohei. If you impress Shohei, you've done something right. <laughs> Yu Chang coming up to the plate to the tune of Crank That by Soldier Boy. Strike three called to Chang. Sandoval's got four straight strikeouts. There's two down here in the third. Sandoval has doubled his strikeout total for the season tonight. He had four total over his first two outings and now four in a row in this one. Brings up Alex Verdugo. I know these two, two were teammates in the World Baseball Classic playing for Team Mexico. Trout backs off. It's a base hit for Verdugo and that's the first Boston hit tonight with two outs here in the third. Here's Justin Turner who's had a lot of success against Sandoval. Two strikes to Turner. Line drive into left field. That's a base hit. Justin. Renders that mood as Verdugo spins around second. He will hold there. So the Red Sox have a two out rally going for Rob Ref Snyder. Ref Snyder grounded ashore his first time. Mentioned his success against left handed pitching over the last year or so. It hard. Rendon picks it to his left from his knees. Wow. Bounces the throw to second to retire Justin Turner. What a play by Anthony Rendon. And he was actually working on that bounce throw earlier today during batting practice. And Rendon using that from his knees. Bouncing it on purpose to get the out at second and retire Turner to end the third. Here's Rafael Devers. He's got a World Series ring. 2018 champion with the Red Sox. See if this stays in play for Rendon over near the bench. He can't make the play. Falls right into the loving arms of Jose Suarez in the Angels dugout. Rendon going down the steps there was fortunate that a teammate was there to catch him as Suarez made the grab. So another 3 2 to the great Devers. It's it hard on the ground. Just reached out. Renifo bobbles, regains, but not in time. Devers aboard as Renifo. Was unable to field that ball cleanly. So now Devers is on. A ball to the backstop from Sandoval. Puts Rafael Devers at second base. KK snapped an 0 for 28 while we were in St. Pete with a couple doubles. Huge gap in right center field for him. 1 0 the pitch. Swing a line drive down the right field line. This is going to get in for a hit and get the Red Sox on the board. Rafi spinning around second. 
And third, he is coming home to score. And the Red Sox get an RBI double from Kike and cut the lead in half. It is two to one. Here's Chang, who struck out his first time. He's not had a hit yet in the major league season. Bounce to third, easy for Rendon. Slings it across, a little bit long, and it gets away. It bounced into the dugout. A run will score. Kike Hernandez comes home. Wong's going to end up being sent back to third. But two errors in the inning by the Angels infield have opened the door for the Red Sox, and this game is tied. See Sandoval upset by what's been a defensive letdown here in the fourth inning. Verdugo takes ball four. And now the bases are loaded. It's the second walk of the inning for Sandoval. And it looks like Phil Nevin's going to pull the trigger and take Patrick Sandoval out of this game after only three and two thirds innings. It was the defense more than anything that hurt Sandoval here in the bottom of the fourth. Two errors by the Angels, one by Luis Renjifo, the other by Anthony Rendon, has sent Patrick Sandoval to an early shower. And it's Justin Turner with the bases loaded here in the bottom of the fourth. On one and two, Turner. It's a bouncing ball to the left side. Renjifo with the backhand throws to third. Out at third to win the inning. Well, the Angels infield opened the door for two unearned runs by the Red Sox in the fourth. But a skillful play ends the inning. Here's Rafi now lying to deep left. Nice running catch was made by Ward. Then he reached on an error by the shortstop. It could have been scored a hit. The pitch home. And he rips one deep down the right field line by the pesky pole. It is gone. A home run. A bullet into the right field seats. Fair by just a few feet. No question about the distance as the strobe lights flash. And the Red Sox lead it for the first time tonight. 3-2. Number six for Rafi. This is Connor Wong's first look at this left hander. Sucks so trying to tag on to this one run lead. Oh, no. That was a pretty clear hit by a pitch. Aaron Loops cutter running way into Connor Wong. And the Red Sox have their leadoff man on him here at the bottom of the sixth. Now Yu Chang will be the batter. And now he almost gets hit, or did he get hit? He did. So Aaron Loop hits back-to-back -back hitters with the same pitch. Loop trying to get by Ref Snyder, keep the Angels within one. Rounder to Rendon made an error earlier, has this one in a throw that pulls Lamb off the bag. One run scores. It's the second error from Rendon tonight, the third from the Angels infield, and the Red Sox have a four to two lead. He gave with a lot better at the plate tonight. They have a chance to break the game open. This one under the glove of Ohapi, and a run is going to score.